I'm Miss Jamie, a children's librarian with Tacoma Public Library, and I'm glad to be here presenting a story time for you here on our YouTube channel. Feel free to watch as many of these episodes as you would like and share them with everyone as well. Today I'm going to read two books with you and we'll sing some fun songs. I like to always start by saying hello. So let's sing our hello song. If you know it, jump right in and sing along. If it's your first time hearing it, I'll sing it twice. Well, hello everybody, how are you? Well, hello everybody, how are you? It's such a lovely day, I'm so glad you came to play. Well, hello everybody, how are you? Okay, let's sing it one more time now that you know the words. And grown ups, please feel free to jump on in and sing the songs. If your little ones see you having fun, they're more likely to join in too. Well, hello everybody, how are you? Well, hello everybody, how are you? It's such a lovely day, I'm so glad you came to play. Well, hello everybody, how are you? Okay, now that we've warmed up our hands, let's go ahead and sing our fun Ram Sam Sam song. And we will sing this one twice too, so you can have time to catch on and learn the words. We're gonna clap on our laps, we're gonna clap like this, we're gonna go round and round, and we're gonna go up. A Ram Sam Sam, a Ram Sam Sam, gooly 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 Ram Sam Sam, a Rafi, a Rafi, gooly 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 Ram Sam Sam. Good job. Let's see if we can do that even faster. I'm gonna go as fast as I can, and I bet on your own you can go even faster. Give it a try. Okay, I'm gonna go really really fast. Are you ready? A uh, ram sam sam, a uh, ram sam sam, gooly 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 ram sam sam, a uh, rafi, a uh, rafi, gooly 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 ram sam sam. Good job keeping up. Now remember, try it, see if you can do it even faster. I'm going to share this book right here. It's a newer one that was written within the last year or so. I always love watching for new books. This one is called I Can Only Draw worms and it was written by Will Mabbitt. Have you ever drawn a worm? Yep, I bet you have. So let's see, how can you write a story about only drawing worms? I can only draw worms by Will Mabbitt. This book is about worms. I can only draw worms. Here is worm one. That looks like a worm. Here's worm two. Here they are both together. It's hard to tell which one is which. I'll give the second worm glasses. That's better. Now you can tell them apart. Here is worm three. She's a different color. No reason, I just lost my pen. Hello, worm four. Worm four thinks he's in charge of all the other worms. I don't know why. Here's worm five. She's a little sick, I'm afraid. Sick worms look just like normal worms. The next page is really exciting. Worm six is riding on a flying unicorn. I can't draw flying unicorns. I've drawn worm five again instead. Worm six flies his unicorn all the way to meet worm seven, who lives in outer space. On the way, Worm Six has an amazing adventure. We'll skip all that. Here's a picture of him meeting Worm Seven. He looks all cool, but inside, he's really excited. Oh dear, there's been a dreadful accident. 
It's not true that if a worm is cut in half, it makes two worms. It makes two half worms. Here's worm eight, and here's worm eight and a half. This page is blank. Worm nine is missing. And the others are starting to get worried. Here's worm 10 instead. The last worm. She looks the same as worm one. Oh, it is worm one. Here's worm 10. Last as usual. And look who he has found. It's worm nine. She just gone to the bathroom. Sorry. That's okay, Worm Nine. Everybody has to go sometimes. So now that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and a half, nine, ten. This book was about worms. I can only draw worms. La end. Now, I invite you to draw worms and maybe write your own story based on those worms. I bet you could come up with something very creative. I'm going to draw a worm. There, there's my worm. Here, I'll give it some of those little lines like we're in that picture. Do you think my worm needs some glasses? Let's see. I think Worm needs some little pink glasses. Maybe Worm needs some hair. And here's his, his other little friend. That one needs some glasses too. So you can draw worms too, and maybe you can write a story all about worms. It could be a counting book. It could be a color book. Have some fun. Well, right now I'm going to read another book. This is also a newer one. This one is a very silly story. It's called, Who Wet My Pants? Now, I know everybody at some time in their life has had a little accident. That's okay, it happens. But I don't think he's very happy about it. He says, who wet my pants? This was written by Bob Shea. Hmm, what does he have here? Donuts. Come and get them. I got all your favorites. Chocolate frosted for Jared and Julia. Pink for Oscar. Rainbow sprinkles for Lindsay. Gross maple bacon for Tim and Teddy. Boston cream for Kelly. And blueberry crunch in a separate bag for Bigfoot, who thinks it's weird when donuts touch. Ooh, there's Bigfoot. better come clean about my wet pants. Oh, sure, it's all chipper, cheery, chatty town when I bring donuts. But when someone wets my pants, everybody clams up. Fine, no one gets donuts until I get answers. I'll get to the bottom of my wet pants if it's the last thing I do. Hey, Tim, bet you picked up some pretty great tricks before you ran away from the circus. What was the big top showstopper? Was it wetting my pants? Tim didn't wet your pants, Reuben. It was probably just an accident. You seem to know an awful lot about who wet what when vis-a-vis -vis my pants. Well, Mr. All the Answers, here's one simple question. Did you wet my pants? 
Gosh, I used to wet my pants all the time. We all understand. Oh, really? All the time, you say? Wet pants are old hat, are they? You know something, Bigfoot? I'm not even sure I believe in you. If I did, I'd have one thing to say. Did you wet my pants? Don't worry about it, Reuben. It could happen to anyone. But it didn't happen to anyone. It happened to me. All I want is justice. Justice and dry pants. You know what's worse than the damp, uncomfortable feeling? My so-called friends trying to cover it up. Well, guess what? I blame all of you. That's right. You all wet my pants. Look, here's all I know. This morning, I helped out at the lemonade stand. Then I went for a hike to the waterfall. Later, I fell asleep playing with my tropical fish. When I woke up, I got donuts and I came straight here. Then poof, my dry pants are wet. Pants that have never been out of my sight. Pants I have been wearing the whole time. Which can mean one thing and one thing only. It means <gasps> these pants are broken. <gasps> they sprung a leak. <sighs> Thanks for nothing, leaky broken pants, making me blame all my super great friends. But if one of you guys did wet my pants, I'd forgive you. And now they all get to eat their donuts. The end. That's a very silly book, isn't it? I wonder who did wet his pants. We may never know. Well, let's go ahead and sing a song together. I'm going to sing this song. It is the elevator song. And we'll sing it a couple times, just so that we can get the hang of it. And this is a fun one. You can jump up and down while we sing it. If you have a little, 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 little one with you, you can hold them and lift them up as well. It's lots of fun. So this one goes to the tune of Do Your Ears Hang Low? Oh, the city is great and the city is grand. There are lots of tall buildings on a little piece of land and we live way up on the 57th floor. And this is what we do when we go out the door. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down. And we spin around. Let's go ahead and sing that one again. Oh, the city is great and the city is grand. There are lots of tall buildings on a little piece of land and we live way up on the 57th floor. And this is what we do when we go out the door. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down. And we spin around. Thank you for singing that one with me. That one's always a fun one. And I've got another one right here that you can sing and jump up and down if you'd like. Get some energy out, get some wiggles out. This one, you can jump up and down. You can lift someone up and down. Or you can just clap and move your arms. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. You can also grab some fun scarfs or washcloths or anything else like that and sing along and wave while you do this song. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. 
And when they were halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Good job. That one's always fun. And we'll do a popcorn kernel scarf song. And then that's all we have time for today. But we have lots of other activities up on our YouTube channel. And always keep an eye up on our social media for other activities and programs that are coming up as well. Got lots of fun things coming up. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels. In the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Till they pop, till they pop. And we'll do that one more time. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels. In the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Till they pop, till they pop. That's all we have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me for some story time fun. And I'll see you soon. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Mm -hmm.